Hello interwebs, this is Alex Das Sudokus and it is Wednesday the 5th I think of May 2021 and we're going to do today's New York Times hard Sudoku. Um, just a little disclaimer, I've actually done it this morning because um, I did a stream this morning to try and solve it but wasn't able to because I was a bit daft and, um, and I spotted it after I failed to finish it in um, the short time that I had before starting work. So um, hopefully I figured out how to do it now and um, yeah, it will go well. So let's do some Snyder notations by pencil marking in some stuff. So two ones here locks a pair of ones there. These two ones locks a pair of ones there. So I can tell this can't be a one. One therefore goes here. Hold on a sec. My colleague is sending sending me a message just kind of working through my lunch a little bit as well after that isn't meant to pop over the screen um okay so let's look at the remaining ones we've got another one here so yeah basically the x-wing of ones forced the ones to be in column four and this one blocked the one over there so that's how i can tell there's a one here and the new one allows me to place another one here because i've got four different ones looking into the same cage and that always gives us a solution because that's always going to be two columns and two rows um and i think that's all i can do with the ones so let's have a look at the twos two 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 also i'm just going to mute my desktop for a second now hold on, I'm going to mute that, so there should be no more shenanigans. Um, Okay, what about the three? Sorry, my colleague is just badgering me for something that um, she should already know. Um, but I'm going to just leave that for now. Fours, fives. Um, five, five, five. Five. Uh, five and five. Sixes. Got a pair of sixes over here. Actually, this is a six. So six over here as well. Six, 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 sevens. Oh, hello. Oh, Glenn, bless you. Oh, my God. Three months subscription. Oh, you're too kind, Glenn. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I can't see any viewers on chat, so um, I can't see you there. But um, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, that's really kind. Um, oh, I'm getting all these messages from work. Maybe I should put a lunch notification on da, 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 da. maybe the only reason you're stood uh da, 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 da. okay so yeah viewer numbers are always a bit behind aren't they so um but yeah thank you so much how's your day going so far are you getting ready for your cryptic crossword stream uh, i've got a pair of nines there nine 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 and a pair of nines over here and Point a pair of nines here, thanks to this nine and that nine, which means I've got a pair of nines locked in here. <sighs> that is me shaking my head at my colleague. Um, okay, nine and nine, nine and nine. I think that's all I can do for now. So let's do a second scan. Uh, tell him to do one. <laughs> well, to be fair, I haven't put my lunch notification on. Um, oh, I've got a pair of twos there, but I don't tend to do that because some um, people don't tend to message me at lunch. So this is a bit unusual. Um, and of course, they pick the day that I'm streaming my Sudoku at lunch to badger me. So how rude, how very, very rude. Um, by the way, how did it go with, um, 
Oh no, we did talk about Sekiro, but um, yeah, I I got absolutely stressed out from Sekiro and basically put it down, and um, for ages, and um. First, and try again. Sorry about that. I did the same. Yeah, two years between fighting the boss and beating it. She was tough. Um, so which one did you fight? Because I I heard you you did the corrupted priest, I think, or corrupted monk. Um, I realised I got actually like further than I remembered. Um, I don't even know if I've got Sekiro installed at the moment because um, I did look at it a while ago. And um, and the only only boss I really remembered was the Madam Butterfly, which I think is a little bit later on, but not that far into the game. Um, oh, we've got a pet eight over here. So let's pencil those in. So I think that's all I can do with the pencil markings at the moment. But we're going to have a revelation in a second. Uh, Corruptorman booked the second version. Oh, so it's a she as well. So I, th I suspect she's maybe later later on. Um, but yeah, it, the game just so different than Dark Souls that, um, You did good considering you had to learn the whole game again. Hi, hi Pip, how are you? Love Sudoku, Glenn. Well, if Glenn won't do Sudokus, um, I won't do cryptic crosswords anymore. And I think that's fairly fair because um, I think he's better with words and I'm better with um, numbers purely because numbers, there are only nine of them in Sudoku and there are 26 letters. In, um, in crosswords, in cryptic crosswords. And there are many, many more words. So um, I think Sudokus, generally speaking, are easier. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I want to pause for a moment here. Um, so I got to this part. Uh, I'll try your stream of Sudoku if you do a cryptic. Oh my God. Fine. We'll, we'll discuss. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> uh, but you have, to, you have to be there for me for the cryptic crossword. And I will be there for you. For your Sudoku, that would be that would be the deal that I make you. So this morning I kind of got here and then got stuck a little bit until I started looking at um, one of the techniques. I don't know what the name is, but basically you look at um, any cells with um, two pencil markings. So I've got three at the moment. I've got two and eight, two and six, and one and nine. And the idea is that we look at um, the rows and the columns on um, these um, double pencil markings and see. If they're restricted, basically, because what we're looking for, you have to, you have so hard. Oh, wow. You're going to make him do a killer Sudoku. That is pretty mean. Killer Sudo if he doesn't do Sudokus, I think killer Sudokus may be a bit harder and they're math involved, they're actual math. And that is a bad time. So the idea with um, this technique is um, we look at a two and eight and we are going to see if they're restricted on this row or column. Um to two cells basically so eights can't go there but the twos can so very quickly we know the twos and eights aren't restricted on this column on this row the two and eight are restricted from this cell but i've got two here and not an eight so it's not restricted to two cells because either i i i need to basically have two cells that can both be two and eight um ideally i want that to not be a two as well so this doesn't work and we can try the two and six uh, twos can go in these cells, so that row is pointless. What about a column? Two and six can't go up there, but I've got another two here. Uh, twos can't go there, but the sixes can. So again, two and six, they're not restricted to two cells. They kind of like spread out, basically. You have a math degree, so you'll be fine. Yeah, you should do um, Killer Sudoku, definitely. <laughs> I do like them. I'm just annoyed that um, Kraken and Cryptic released it after I bought the bundle for the entire Sudoku series. I may have to buy it and play some. Um, anyway, so when we come to the one and nine, if we look, um, 
horizontally one and nine can't go in these cells um one and nine can't go there and nine can go there but i've got basically one and nine spread out over three cells on this row so that's not too useful but when we look at a column the one and nine can't go in these cells you can't go in here either because we've already established that one and nine if one or nine could go there we would have pencil marked it in when we look up here the one and nine also can't go in this cell so there are actually only two cells on this column that the ones and nine can go which is here and here because ones and nines can't go in any of these other cells so what that means is we have a hidden pair on this column of ones and nines and if they if these two cells have to be one or nine then eight cannot go in there so that gives us an eight and there's another thing that's going to happen in a second and i'm just going to have another bite of my noodles first because it is my lunch time at the moment so the second thing that this does is this cell and this cell can only be a one or a nine they can't be any other numbers so if you look into this cage what have we got left we've got one and nine at the moment out of the four remaining cells three and four are remaining and penciled but three and four can't go in this cell so we can pencil mark into threes oops threes and fours and a four here because i've got a three those are only permutations that we've got in this cage so now if we look at the threes we've got ourselves a pointer pair of threes is that useful yes it is because it locks a three down here and um, this three and this pointer set of threes restricts the threes from these cells that's a one or a nine it can't be a three so a three must be down here and that's good because that breaks a one nine pair so one can't go there anymore this has to be a nine. Oh, hello oh bless you clan you're you're too kind you're giving me gift subs as well thank you so much oh my god you're really you're really making my day thank you um i hope i won't disappoint with my sudokus um so with the threes i've now got a pair of threes i don't know if like there's something i should be doing and or saying when because i'm not used to getting subs but thank you so much that's the most important thing i really appreciate that and thank you um so we've got four seven and six remaining in this case we're going to pencil mark those in um these are fours and sixes on this column and a four can go there so oh my god pardon me <coughs> oh getting the cough as well oh that's cool i'm glad you're learning a lot so what else can we do what else can we do we've got the freeze so I'm, i think we've done a f fair few things there also this three four pair restricts that from a four um that means this is a two seven two six seven triple um i don't think that's useful at the moment <clears throat> so what i am going to do is look at the grid again i'm just going to scan the grid again and see if we've done anything else uh for instance we can pencil mark in a pair of nines there thanks to these nines um this nine doesn't do anything oh this nine actually unlocks oops ah unlocks a nine down here and there's no more nines to be had so maybe we should observe this cage have we got anything special here yes we have we've got ourselves a pointer pair of fives here thanks to these fives so the fives are also restricted to these cells that is good the fives are also restricted to these two cells in this cage as a pointed pair and i think that's all the fives that i can do oh cheers glenn sorry i have to look no problem at all yeah normally i would be working as well but um well i mean no i'll be watching tv with my wife um because <clears throat> we'll be having lunch normally um let's see what else can i do let's have a look at the two so i've got pointed pair twos there twos are not really restricted here to yeah there's not a lot of restrictions on the twos yet so it's not playing ball threes three 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 any any special threes nope fours fours are restricted there four 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 oh wow we're not getting much done here 
five. Um, I hope I don't have to do anything else special. I don't remember having to do any other special techniques after finding the pointer pair of threes this morning. So let's have a look at the sixes. Sixes, six, 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 six. Nope, nothing on the sixes, sevens, seven, seven, seven. seven. How peculiar. Eight, eight on this row, on this row. Not really restricted over there. Nines. Pencil marked in order nines. Oh my god. Okay, so let's have a look at um, the rows and columns in that case. We may be able to find something. That's probably what I'm missing. I know this row is missing three and four already, and I've got three and four there. So that's two and five. So it's two, five, two, three, four, and five on this row. That's not useful for me. Um, there are four numbers here. So these are two, eight, four, and seven. So two, four, seven, and eight. Two, four, seven, and eight. So can we spot any numbers? We've got seven there and a two there. So this is four and eight. It's not super helpful. Uh, what about here? Two, three, nine, and seven. Two, three, nine, and seven. Three. Got nine here. Nine can go here as well. Nope, not getting anything. Um, two. Oh, please do hold five if you do see something. I hope that I can spot it as well. So, um, two, three, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, two, three, four, five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six. So, two, five, and six here. Two, five, and six. I've got five and six. So, this is two, three, and four. Um, I don't think that makes anything. Three, six, two, three. Two, three, six, seven, and eight. Two, three, six, seven, and eight. Don't think I'm going to get anything out of that. Um, hold on a sec. I feel like there may be something in this cage as well. Uh, two, three, two, three, six, seven, and eight. There's a lot of numbers. Um, two, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, five, six, seven. That is quite a nice combo uh, so four and seven um, yeah definitely struggling a bit when I shouldn't be but I just realized yep I see it on the bottom row so this can't be four or five so four or five are ruled out there four or five can't go in here either because I've got point of pair fours and a five in the cage so these are four or five pairs so actually this is a four and this is a five. Uh, another way of looking at it, I guess, is four, five, six, and seven. I've got four and five there, so this is six and seven. So I've got a six, seven pair, so these must be four and five, but this can't be a four. So yeah, that tells me that I've got the four and five, basically. So four and five are here, and I think... Um, what about a five? But does the five do anything? Yep, that locks a pair of fives up there. Not super useful, but I think this cage may be a bit more friendly now. Eight, um, two. Oh, wow, it's not super friendly, but this can't be six or seven. So it must be two and eight. That is annoying. Um, so two, five, two, three, five and eight. Three and five, so that's two and eight. And that's two and eight as well. It's got three and five. So these are threes and fives. Three and five, three and five. I've got three, five matching pair there. Don't think that's that useful, but it does mean fives can't go there. I think I'm doing this a really long winded way because I don't remember doing any of that this morning at all. So I'm definitely over complicating this puzzle. Um, however, we're going to have to finish it either way. So two, eight. What's missing here? Two, three, six, and eight. No, two, two, six, seven, and eight. Two, six, seven, and eight. Pardon me. I'm not getting much action here. Have I got two, eight pair there? Two and eight can go there as well. So that's not a two, eight pair. So this is two, eight, two, four, two, four, seven, and eight. Two, four, seven, and eight. 
I don't think that's useful. Eight. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm making this overly complicated when it's not. And um, three, 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 four. So I'm just going to scan the numbers again just to see if I missed something. Four, 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 four. So fours are in quite a lot of cells. Fours are in three different cells. That's no good for us. Four, four. Why am I finding this so hard suddenly? It wasn't that challenging this morning. This is just like Dark Souls when you nearly kill a boss the first attempt and then just completely get crushed <laughs> um, repeatedly and feel like you're banging your head against the wall. That's what I'm feeling right now. Sevens. Eights. Um, pretty sure there's nothing to do with the eights. Eights. Hold on. With the three and five there, that means the eights can only be in these two cells, actually. Um, but that's not that useful. Um, nine. Does that help me with the nine? <laughs> Maybe? Nope, the nines are still possible in these cells. So, oh my god, what am I doing wrong? So I'm going to observe the columns to see I'm, if I'm missing something on the columns. Um, four. Hold on, this can't be three and five. So I've got a three, five pair now. This has to be four, three, four, five and seven. And uh, no, it's not a three five pair because there's a three over there. So, uh, oh, fours. So I'm missing something with the fours. I wonder what's going on. What am I missing? I'm being really daft. I've got a force in those cells. Fours are here. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Point a pair of fours. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing with the force, honestly. Being really useless. But thank you for the lurk as well, um, Glenn. Um, I'm confused by the force statement. So I'm going to have to, I guess, try and move on. So I'm going to pencil mark in the force here because I feel like this cage is quite close to having some sort of resolution. I've got sevens there. Um, is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, everything's been pencil marked in. Uh, four, six, four, six. Hmm, not getting anything from that. And I'm not pleased. Hmm, hang on. This is what I missed. This is this is what I missed this mor from this morning. One to pair of twos. This two eight pair is resolved. There couldn't have been a two. So eight is there, which means eight also has to go here now. So I've got another pair of eight there. Sorry for the um, noodle noises, but I'm definitely very hungry as well. So sorry about that. Um. Okay, now we've got seven, eight, six, seven, and eight in these cells. So when it's a triple, I go against the grain from um, Snyder notations and just do a pencil mark in the freeze, basically. I don't say that, Glenn. Um, it's easy to miss things. So it's easy to misread things when you haven't got control of the grid. It's much easier when you when you actually have control. So. Um, so I'm just missing the fourth and the seventh in this cage. I'm just pencil mark them in just to see if it helps me identify things because um, I do want to finish my lunch as quickly and um, finish the Sudoku as quickly as possible so I can get on with um, the rest of my lunch as well. So let's see. Okay, now I've got a two, two five pair there thanks to these twos. So twos and five. Locked in there, I've got four, six, and seven. But also in this cage, I've got another triple, which is three, six, and seven. Okay, so let's pencil those in. Um, board is getting cluttered again. I wonder if it's because this morning I ended up pretty much pencil marking in everything. So maybe now that I'm not pencil marking everything, it's actually harder than it appeared this morning. 
So on this row, hold on, what about a column? Two, five, two, five, seven, and nine. I've got five and no, haven't got anything else. Just got a five there. So two, three, seven, and nine. Two, three, seven, and nine. Got three there. So there's nothing on this row. Honestly, can't remember. This is the fun thing about having bad memory because um, you forget the puzzle that you've done and um, and it stays fun. Oh, hang on. This cell now has three, four, and five. And I'm looking for two, three, four, and five on this row. So there has to be a two as well. So I'm missing a lot of stuff. I don't know how I'm doing that. So the twos are now there, but these are now three, four, and five. Um, so I guess that's a three, yeah, three, four, and five. Um, anything on this column? Six, seven, eight, and nine. I've got seven, eight, and nine on this row. Missing six, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that must be a six. So this row on the column, I'm missing six, seven, eight, and nine. But I've got seven, eight, and nine on the row. So that mixed a six creates a point pair of sixes. So seven, eight, and nine. Uh, haven't got enough to do them, but this is a seven and nine. Um, is that potentially useful? I don't think it is. No, it's not useful. So, wow, it's just a really slow puzzle. <laughs> it's a really slow pu puzzle. There's no synergy. There's no, like, nothing seems to just unlocks the puzzle. So threes, threes are up here. Three, uh, I'm just going to scan the numbers again because I'm sure... I'm sure that we're at the stage where we should be able to break the puzzle more easily now. Mm. Do I have to press X to doubt? Because I'm definitely pressing X to doubt here. Four for four, four's up there, five. It cannot be this hard. It cannot be this hard. Five, fives. No, nothing on five. Sixes, sixes. Point a pair of sixes. Oh, hold on. This six breaks to four and six. There we go. So, yeah, I'm not cleaning up the pencil markings and that's working against me. So let's clean up pencil markings. So this six unlocks the seven here, which means this is now the only six. The eight, eight goes there. There we go. That looks a bit healthier now. And these are now seven and nine. We're not going to get those. But I want to keep going with the sixes. I think six is now locked in that cell. Brilliant. And with that, we've got something's not right here. Two, three, and seven. Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. Uh, six, six, six. All the six should be done now, surely. Six, that six cleans that six off. So, okay. We're in the end game now, baby. <clears throat> um, mm -mm -mm. Just looking around, two, four, and seven. I got seven, so that's two and four, not useful. Seven and nine, three and five, so three, five, nine, nine. So nine's are in these two cells, not useful at all. Nine and nine, um, three. Maybe I should look at just the numbers now. Surely, come on, come on, you got to give me something. Four. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I don't know what's going on with this puzzle, but it is. I don't know. Also, don't know what's going on with my stomach. I'm constantly burping, and it's disgusting. And I'm sorry for that. Sixes, sixes are done now. Sevens. There we go. The seven and four are now unlocked. So that gives me a two here, seven there. I'm left with three and five at all. Hold on. Let me double check. Seven can't go there, so the seven has to go here. Yep, that makes a two. Brilliant. So that's seven locks. The seven's on that roll. Two, does a two do anything for us? Two is now locked down here because it is two, that two, and that has to be three and five. So that means the two's up here as well. So I think that's a triple, isn't it? Isn't that a two, seven, four, triple? These three cells are two, seven, and four. Therefore, the nine can't go there anymore. Nine had to be down here, which means, yeah, because the two's, four and seven are all on these two rows so two four and seven there gave me the nine and should give me a three as well so that three unlocks the three and the seven and that seven still doesn't unlock everything for me how rude how very rude how very very rude um nine unlocks the nine up here i'm so sorry for being so slow guys today um, 
but we got there in the end. Seven, seven, older seven's done. Yes, they are. What haven't I cleaned up? Uh, two, four, two, four, and five. So hold on. This is not right. Three, four, oh, three, four, and five. Uh, but this has to be a two, five pair. So therefore, five is here, two is there, and a five is here, which means this is a four, this is a two, two, and four, and got the three, so the three, five pair are unlocked. Three is up there, that gives me the four and the five. And finally, we <laughs> even knowing what the crux was for the puzzle, it still took me ages to do this. So we're going to quickly do the mini crosswords and see if we get anywhere. May need your help there, Glenn. Um, Antlered animal, four letters. Um, pretty sure moose is more, yeah, five letters. So deer, I guess, is antlered. Auto company had quartered in Silicon Valley. I'm guessing that's Tesla. Model actress Kate. It's not Winslet, so she's an actress. So with nine across, part one of a Moderna and so I guess that's the COVID vaccine. Part one of the Oh, I wonder what the name is for that. Double Oh hang on, that's not Tesla. Double something Oreos. Hmm. What site do you do this one? Um, I'm doing them on um, New York Times, but I think either Deer or Tesla is wrong. Auto company headquartered in Silicon Valley. That's got to be Tesla, right? So maybe it's a, a different antlet. Um, showing little enthusiasm. Hmm. Houston baseball player. I'm not going to know that. Luster for your lips. Oh my God, what is going on? Poker payment is the ante. So what other antlered animals are there? Is it a stack? Maybe it's a stack. So double stab. <laughs> uh, showing a little enthusiasm. And Houston bass player, not going to know that. Luster for your lips. Gloss. Okay. Um, but you can just go to New York Times slash crosswords. In fact, let me put that in chat. So... This is where you find all the crosswords, and um, you can find the Sudokus as well. Uh, okay. Oh, is it Upton? I've heard of Upton from... Oh, hold on. Kate Upton is a... Is she a model? She sounds like a model. Um, oh, interesting. So, double stuff? Oreos? Double stop? Double... <laughs> Show this enthusiasm. Tape tip hmm okay i need help here i can't do this part one of moderna and pfizer vaccines hmm hmm first dosed so stuff with a single f i'm not happy with that Tippet. Not familiar with that word. Lukewarm. Oh, I've even Googled this before because that's purple. So an Astro is the baseball player. Okay, brilliant. Let's do the archived mini crossword. What casino workers are always dealing with? What casino workers are maybe chips? Let's let's try chips. Or maybe it's money. Mm. Plants Alive. Designer Vuitton. That's Louis Vuitton. But I don't know how to spell Louis. I'm going to go for that. Queen Something Lays, which is a plant. Toy bear named for a US president. Teddy? Key equivalent to B. So I'm guessing that's music. So I'm guessing this is not chips. Um, key equivalent to B. Oh, maybe it's not. A uh, bad way to cap to watch a scary movie would be alone. Definitely, definitely bad for me. Quarterfinals or semi-finals are. 
exams, but that doesn't work. Like prunes and raisins are dried up. Um, dried? Full of back talk. Uh, sassy? Maybe? Uh, casino workers. Hmm, plants live. And queen something lays. Oh my god. What casino workers are always dealing with? I think I need to check the puzzle. Oh, they are correct. Okay. Hmm. Oh, cards. So, key equivalent to B is C a lot. <laughs> Um, cause final semifinal is round. Okay. Oh, this is Flora. So, Queen. It's going to be a vowel, so I'm going to go for A. A C flat. What the hell? C flat is a B. That is rubbish. That is really rubbish. I was thinking about a major minus, but I couldn't think of it. Okay. Okay. Let's try the spelling B. So we're going straight for the pengram, if we can. I can see T-I-O-N, so damnation, damnation, got it first go, very happy with that. So yeah, that is today's stream for Sudoku's mini crosswords and spelling bee, and I'm going to finish the rest of my lunch. Um, hope you guys enjoy that, and if that's been useful, please um, leave a like and subscribe on YouTube, and um, there's a description thing below as well if you want to see me live on Twitch. Um, and if you want to ask me questions, um, yeah, you can do it live. Um, or comment, believe, comment beneath if you want um, any, I don't know, full-on explanations about how to play kind of more basic Sudoku. So I really appreciate it. So and thank you for hanging out, guys, on Twitch. Love you all. And thank you so much again, Glenn. I can't believe you gave me so many subs. So really loving you always and i shall catch you at your probably at your um cryptic stream although i am lurking in two other streams already i don't want them i think i's finished um but hopefully i'll see you in a sec and um let's see if there's someone we can quickly raid because i just saw someone came online and i don't know if they do oh they're doing fitness and health oh glenn is already he's already doing his cryptic so i guess i will see you there in that case, I'm going to introduce you guys to my friend Rose. She's still streaming, actually. And she, she's playing a game called A Hat in Time. Pardon me. She's really lovely. And um, and I guess I'm... Like, I didn't set out to meet other trans gamers at all, but she's just another trans gamer that I happen to... Um, kind of like a world just kind of cross paths thanks to another another streamer who's also trans as well so trans streamers united and I'm going to do my trans flag before I go so go say hi um, she's a lot of fun to um, like to watch basically and she just has lots of fun and she's just a really really lovely person being like becoming fast friends and uh, she's just having lots of fun with our mutual friend Kissa in stream, on stream as well, playing A Hat in Time. So hope you guys enjoy it, and I shall see you all later. Bye now.